What up, Amber Ryan man? Coming back to you once again from the West Coast, California. The most gangster MRI tech you'll ever meet. Your favorite tech, the one and only MRI man, the GOAT. I'm back. It's been a while. I've been busy. I've been moving around. I left my, uh, if you guys follow my videos, um, I was working at a hospital, well, two different hospitals. And uh, I pretty much went back to where I started at, uh, I'm back at an imaging center now. So what happened is I got laid off at one of the hospitals, which I was there three days a week. It was really slow. They offered me a full-time job at uh, the other hospital I worked at, but it's far. It's like an hour and a half away. And I can't, I don't want to do that hour and a half drive every day, five days a week. I got tired of working weekends. So I'm per diem there now, and I work four 10-hour days at an imaging center. Yeah, I took a pay cut, but I'm having more time uh, to spend with my family and to do hobbies and stuff. Because uh, when I was working for the hospital, there was a point where I was working 14 days in a row. I was getting burned out. Uh Never had Saturday off, really. And now I have the weekends off with the family. And I can do more hobbies and other projects. I'm not just all wrapped up and just working. And one of the new things I've been doing is uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Martial arts, I've been doing that for about, I'd say going on three months now. It's pretty dope. Um, highly recommend it. Um, I come from an athletic background anyway, uh, mostly basketball, football, and like track. And I got burned out playing uh, basketball, and I ain't really trying to play football. And running's, I don't know, just don't want to run no track. And I've taken martial arts when I was younger. I took judo for a while, and I remember how fun it was and how relaxed it made me feel after and just it made me feel good you know so when I went to school and somebody tried to run up on me I had some moves and I would just sweep them um, hip toss them and that's it it was cool and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu I'm, I've been into mar mix, uh, mixed martial arts MMA for a very long time since like the early UFC's I've always kind of watched it and I wanted to do it, but I didn't have money for it. I was young. My parents wouldn't put me in that. My dad wanted me to play, you know, basketball. Um, so fast forward, you know, I have money now and I could afford it. I got the time. It's like, so, you know, fuck, you know, after it. going for that shit. And yeah, been doing that, feeling good. And, you know, I've just been getting burned out at work, tired of just going to work, you know, same thing, same thing. And so I needed something new. I've gotten into other things, you know, like fishing. I was into that like two years ago hard. I was just like super into it. Got some good poles. That's the thing. You guys working. We're, we're in this office basically all day listening to loud uh, sounds of the machine, dealing with people hurt, sick, blah, 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 all day. You're doing that. So you got to have a good hobby to uh just for me for sure to release that you know energy you know all those things you're just at work you're holding back you got to be we got to let's let's be straight up we got to be pretty serious at work we can joke a little here and there but we're always serious um it's not like we're active either at work we're not really bust like dripping in sweat busting in sweat we're not really doing anything active we're sitting down a lot and you know I just felt like I just felt like myself just getting weaker in there. I'm a little sick right now, sorry. But uh you know, and I was going to the gym and I always do that and work out and it's it's just it gets boring, man. Just in there, you're just lifting weights, lifting weights, and it's just like what am I doing here, you know? And um I've always dipped into that boxing and I just never paid for it you know i just never had the money so now i'm into it and guess what you, i'm learning self-defense um patience it makes you more humble because you're getting your ass kicked in there um you know something i passed to my kid and my son's gonna start doing it 
so it's it's pretty dope and um i noticed like there's some bigger guys in there you know they're strong and they're just lifting weights they just started and they're getting tired you know no cardio it's all muscle all that muscle takes up too too much oxygen so we just need some action you know we're 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 at work getting burned out so that's what i suggest if you're getting burned out at work like i i was and just man we're doing like now i'm back at the imaging center it's so busy man we're doing like 38 patients you know well it's two machines but 38 patients i did on one machine one time i did 31 i don't know how is that a record you know i am the goat but let's get into that you know they they want us to give great patient care but it's like if you're giving me 15 they're giving me 15 minutes to screen somebody and scan their knee is like that's crazy there's no room for error so it's kind of a problem we have now you know when they schedule a patient it's like they got to find out what kind of mobility issues they have if they're slow they can't get on the bed they're paraplegic they have one leg and it's just like it's a whole bunch of things and it's all perception on how you see it when you go to work i try not to let things stress me out like that but it's like when you're when these things happen and next you know you're hour behind and then we're the ones facing the patients and we got to go out there and tell them hey we're an hour behind and they're just like disappointed and i can see that because nowadays people work in two jobs they got to take a vacation day they are they have to miss work to come you know get their mri and then they got to go do a bunch of other things especially right now holidays so it's just you know that's that's the only thing that kind of bothers me right now about my job is just feeling so rushed to do things you know it's like i don't have time to try any new scan i don't have time to add slices sometimes i don't have time to make pictures look good everything's just cut i'm going for speed no room for air uh, that's the only thing i don't really like i mean i like scanning i like talking to people getting them getting them what they need but yeah the whole thing of just feeling so rushed i know we got to pick up the pace but it's like damn it's like you really got to just be moving, moving, moving. Like, well, it's good experience. Uh, I don't see myself at a place like this forever, um, especially if they're not uh, paying me more. We'll see if, what kind of raise they give me, and then I'll go from there. Uh, if I don't like what I'm seeing, I'll probably go back. <laughs> I'll probably move closer to the hospital. I don't know. I didn't really want to move up there, but I'll find somewhere. Um other than that, everything else has been going pretty good. Um, this company I'm with, uh, it's a it's a multiple imaging uh, imaging centers. So I work at three different spots. Uh, I work on let's see, like two different machines, I guess. Uh, no, three different machines. So I pretty much know how to use every different every kind of GE, um, all generations and 3t 1.5 and that's why i suggest you guys to learn as much as you can don't hold back everything is going to feel uncomfortable you know we got to be put we're going to make mistakes ask questions as you go um for the new people in school you guys need to just uh basically block everything out focus on the mri focus on what you're doing um, take it seriously because uh, every a lot of people would love to be in your spot uh, so be happy and thankful that you are in the school you're getting into a great job great field um, and just take it seriously study 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 it doesn't make sense keep studying ask questions it's a lot of memorization check out that mriquiz.com um, you guys Pretty much, uh, people commenting are getting me to make videos because I really didn't want to make any more videos for a while because I didn't know any, uh, anyone really cared about them. All right. So, yeah. 
you guys leave uh, some comments. Let me know how it's going in your career or the school. How's that going? And some people have been leaving comments. I always try to reply to them as quick as I can. So there's that. I haven't been making videos, but I have been replying to everyone's comments. And, you know, there's some people going to school, some people on externship. You know, externship could be hard sometimes. feels like everyone's ignoring you, but are not letting you scan fast enough. Just show your interest and take notes and show up early, stay later if you can. Sometimes it's busy. Some people don't know how to train people. So it's like keep your head up and learn as much as you can. And people thinking about getting into this field, don't get into it just for the money, you know. Be sure that you like patients and people and you like helping people. If you don't like helping people and you can't deal and you don't have patience to deal with the patients, this is probably not the career for you. If you're good at computers and bad with people, this is probably not good for you. Especially if you're working at an imaging center. You're going to be dealing with a lot of people. you got to be patient. you gotta, you got to be somewhat of a good uh, people person. you got to act like you care. If it's, like, very hard for you to talk to people, you're like, oh, I can't do it. You know, it's going to be... I, there's texts like that. It's just they're not the best. you got to show some empathy of, you know, what's going on. Like, just, like, you got to care. you got to act like you care, at least, you know, the minimum. And for the people that are in it, getting burned out, you know, try to have some fun. Try to find new hobbies uh, because just working and doing this is not fun all the time. You got to have some fun, especially on these long, stressful days. Anyway, MRI man, I'm out. Like, sub. You know what to do. I'm out.